and Love Express now arriving at this platform. Thanks, Rex Sarko, and Michael Long for everyone aboard for a great trip over to Fiji's. At this time, we do have the Alga. She gave us the oldest from the first car to last car. Please remain seated for the full and entire journey. If you brought a small child with you, that child will be walking around on a parent's lap, but please do not have them stand up or hang them out the windows. And please keep all body parts within the rail car. Heads, arms, hands, legs, feet, everything within the rail car will be underway here in just one moment. Once again, small children are more than welcome to ride on a parent's lap, but please do not have them stand up or hang them out the window. We will be underway. Bye. Now this train is going to take you to Rafiki's. At Rafiki's, you're going to find such activities as a petting zoo, environmental display, character meet and greet, vet hospital, and nutritional center. Now when you're done with your time of discovery there, simply return back to the station we're going to drop you off at. The train will bring you back here to Africa. Trains run every five minutes, and they are your only way to return back from where you started is via the train. And once again, where we're taking you to is Rafiki's, and that's where you're going to find petting to, environmental display, character meet green, vet hospital, and nutritional center. Now on our way to Rafiki's, what we're going to do is we're going to pass by some of the nighttime homes or some of the animals that you could see out on the safari ride today. And we bring those free roaming animals in. What the trainers have done is they've conditioned them to return back to their own individual compounds via sound cue. Now this cue can be the blowing of a whistle, the ringing of a bell, the shaking of an old can with rocks in it. Each animal has its own distinctive sound, and when it hears that sound, it knows it's time to come in for the end of the day. Now the first series of buildings we're going to pass by are going to be our nighttime homes for lions, the war dogs, and for some of the hoofstock animals. Now the savannah itself is 110 acres. To give you an idea on how large that is. You can take the entire Magic Kingdom and put it in the savannah and still have acreage left over for parking. It is the single largest attraction in all of Walt Disney World. Now further expand this out, you can take Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and the Magic Kingdom. Combine all three theme parks into a large park and this large park as well would fit within the confines of Disney Animal Kingdom, for we're over 550 acres, in fact, larger than one square mile in size. series of buildings we're going to pass by are going to be your nighttime home for the cheetah, the white rhinoceros, and for the African Thank you. 